come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God Welcome to day three of Advent Thoughts. As you can see, the Griswoldification of my house has started already. My hat's a little bit worse for the wear. Thank God I haven't fallen off the ladder yet. It starts every year. A couple weeks ago, I started getting lights ready, but it takes two, three, four, or five days. This one tree will take me the better part of today, and then I'll do the rest of almost the whole other house tomorrow. That's the thing about Advent. It's a time of preparation, and we sometimes think that preparation just poof happens. We had a professor in seminary, Bob Hughes, who used to troll the halls. We would call him the Grinch, making sure that no one put up any Christmas lights or Christmas decorations of any kind before that moment, before the beginning of Christmas Day, once the sun went down on Christmas Eve. And that's well, good, and fine, but I don't know what Bob thought Mary and Joseph were doing. The process of getting ready, the process of having a baby requires you to get ready. I mean, before we ever had Des, there was a whole room in the house dedicated to Desmond and all her stuff. She had a bed before she was. She had a dresser before she was. She had a crib before she was. She even had clothes before she was. She certainly had our love before she was. And in this season, we have two choices. We can either pretend like we're already ready and we've got it all under control and we're fantastic, or we can do the hard work. I'll tell you a little secret. This job sucks. I'm getting older, it's harder. I gotta be up on that brickety ladder. You saw me almost die up there. It's hard. It's exhausting. I will not, by the time we get to Sunday, I'll be barely able to walk. Preparation can be difficult. It's not an easy task at all. But if we enter into it, at the end of the day, we end up with something beautiful. Something holy. This season of Advent calls us into that task that we prepare ourselves, that we, by engaging Christ, might be made something beautiful and something holy once again. and might be reminded of the goodness and the holiness and the joy that was always inside of us. Don't wait till the last minute to do that work. The last minute of your grave, the last minute of Christmas Eve, the last minute of a loved one's life. Make ready the pathways of God today so that he can enter into your hearts with joy and thanksgiving. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, for he is prepared to meet you. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. That's going to be a short one.